what am I doing? Okay. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Samsonite, and welcome to Solitude Underwater. So... I'm afraid of this game because apparently you get stuck in a shark cage and you got to get out. On December 30th, 1718, the insurmountable left Calcutta in order to return home to England. Her cargo consisted of 29 barrels filled with copper coins, 40 chests of silver bullion, 25 chests of gold bullion, and 96 elephant tusks. Rich ass. Yeah, it's sunk and I'm going to go find it. Insurmountable sailed directly into a violent storm, and in that storm, she remained for three miserable days, hopelessly lost. In the middle of the fourth day, the insurmountable capsized and sank to the ocean floor with all of its precious cargo. Of its crew of 112, only 11 men managed to make it to the shores of South Africa. The rest were devoured by ravenous sea creatures. After much intensive research, my brother and I have come to believe that the insurmountable may have sunk near a certain South African island. At the time that the insurmountable sank, it was called Ilha de Fera, which is Portuguese for the Island of Wild Creatures. Mm. But nowadays, it's known as Dyer Island. Because people die there. Today's date is June 17th. People die there. No, it isn't. Minutes away from falling asleep in a shabby hotel in Hunsby, South Africa. If all goes well, June 18th, 2023 will be the day that Zane and Dominic Riker finally bring all the insurmountable's long sunken treasures back to the surface and become instant multi millionaires. Solid character motivation. That's a lot of guacamole. I said that in a video at some point, George, and I can't figure out what. Uh oh. Can you hear me, Dominic? Loud and clear, Zane. Loud and clear. Hey, Dominic, how far away are we from Dyer Island? Right now, Zane, I'd say we're approximately 30 nautical miles east of Dyer. Why? I don't know. It just suddenly occurred to me that a little while ago I was still able to see Dyer Island as a tiny little speck on the horizon. Now I can't even see that anymore. Whichever way I look, there's nothing but you, me, and the deep blue sea. Well, deep blue ocean, anyway. What's the difference? The deep blue ocean and all the thousands of creatures that live in it. Please don't remind me of them. <laughs> Are we almost at our destination? Almost, Zane. Almost. Where are my feet? Hey, Dominic. Once we're both filthy rich, what's the first thing you're going to buy? A house. A house in the sunniest part of Florida. Lame. Ooh, like a cozy little vacation home that the two of us could spend a week or two relaxing in, in between adventures. What kind of adventure are you planning after this one? Glad you asked. Remember that news article I showed you about the bank robber in Thailand who died in the police shootout? I have a good lead on where he hid the money. And then after we're done in Thailand, there's a certain priceless artifact hidden in Qatar that I have been dying to get my hands on. And after Qatar, we'll want to head to Sri Lanka. And after that... When I'm with you, Zane, life is just one non-stop, never-ending adventure. Ah, Dominic, that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. This is a horror game. Huh? First rule of treasure always come armed too many thieves and rival treasure hunters who are thieves as a thief and i had to learn that the hard way i'll leave the shotgun where it is for now there's nothing around me that i want to shoot maybe dominic now's not the right time for me to get into that cage all these have a lot of sentimental Why would you bring on a boat? Since it's the first treasures I ever discovered during my very first treasure hunt. The gold coins are ancient Hungarian forints, minted sometime in the 15th century. The goblet was crafted in 1461 by a Hungarian goldsmith on behalf of Hungarian royalty. Sell that shit, bro. Idiot. <laughs> Dominic, 
Dominic? Are we there yet? Actually, yes. We're there. We should be directly above what's left of the insurmountable. Let me know when you're ready to go underwater, Zane. I don't want to do this, but I know I should do this. I'm ready, Dominic. Let's do this. Great. I'll help you put your scuba gear on. I'm not happy about this. But I put myself through everything I can. I still think you miscalculated the coordinates. I'll tell you what, Zane. You go down there, and if you don't find the insurmountable, I'll pull you back up, and we'll go wherever you want. Gotta be honest. I'm starting to feel a bit nervous. Hey, don't worry. I spared no expense buying the very best cage for you, Zane. You'll be completely safe in there. Let's see. Oxygen tank? Laser cutter? Wait. Where's my phone? Huh? My phone. I need my phone. Where is it? I don't know. Where's the last place you put it? Okay. Let's do it. Not without my phone. Oh my god. Why are, what are you going to do with it down there, bro? Well, there's like one place. I really ought to at least bring these inside the cockpit. One bad bump from the ocean and they'll all sink into the drink. They're all just so sparkly in the sunlight. I really ought to at least yeah. bring these inside. Yeah. Oh my god, then do it. One bad bump from the ocean. Sink into the drink. Ah, just, just, just let me, just let me suffer. Have you found my phone, Dominic? I'm still looking. See if you can find it out there. Bro, there's like one place to look. Well, I found my phone. Wonderful. Is it waterproof? Is this it? This is the most waterproof model of smartphone money can buy. I'm gonna take loads of pictures of all the treasure when I'm down there. Terrific. Now, can you please get a move on already? We're wasting valuable time. Did you wait till nighttime when, like... I can't... I don't have a compass. I can't tell what if it's morning or night. Okay, it took me... me down. Oh, I'm nervous. <sighs> hey, Zane. How's the water down there? Dark. Wet. Cold. And growing steadily darker. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you go for a little while. Got to answer a call on nature. Have fun basking in the exquisite majesty of the briny depths. Will do. I'll call you when I see the insurmountable. Or if anything weird happens. I... It is. No, it's fascinating. It's, besides being absolutely terrifying, it is beautiful. Where? Where? <gasps> How? Hi, buddy. Aw. I'm going to keep that off. Yes. I just got back from my bathroom break, and I am hearing a lot of static coming from your end. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Although I can't say I'm hearing any static. Hey Zane, I don't know if you heard anything I said just now. I don't know if you responded to my words, but if you did, please speak louder because I couldn't hear you over all the static. I said I'm not hearing any static, Dom. I actually am hearing static. Damn! Are you there? I can't hear you at all! Please respond! I hear the static too, Dom! Just stay calm! Can you hear me, Dominic? Stay! <gasps> oh my god, Dominic! The chain! The chain's breaking! I can hear it breaking! Chain, I think we're experiencing some kind of malfunction! Pull me up! Pull me 
tank in front of the cage. What? What? Oh! Okay. 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 Keep it together, Zane. He had a laser cutter, right? Cage. Where the hell is it? Hang on, firstly. Is this just going to be infinite? Oh shit, we're doing some dead by daylight shit here. So the game just told me that there is no... So it's just about survival. Something's happening near the cage. Better shine your light on it. Uh, ah! uh, so let me push the goddamn cage, would you please? Shit. Whoa. Wait. What's up with its eyes? What? Going to the side where the shark is in spam E. Um, that's not it. Hurry, scare the blind shark. Rattle the. I was mashing E. That scared me. All right, you beat me. You beat me. You killed me. Good job. Try it. Let's try again. Yeah, eaten. Play again. Don't make me go through all that again. Okay, nice. Thank you. My head. Please respond. Please. Hey, I need air. Get off the goddamn radio. Oh shit. Okay, that was that. Shit. There's air in this thing, though. I drown. Yeah, okay. Great. So they're blind. Why? Why would they be blind? It's not that deep here. Nice. 
this. Damn it. And we'll let go. Yep. Just gotta creep my way over, that's all. What? I could have sworn I did it. Shit. Just keep at it. Hang on. What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. This is a cool game and I'm not giving up on it, but I don't know what to do. Some bitch ate me. I'm not going to skip the tutorial this time. What's that sound? Shit. My oxygen tank. It's busted. Only because I need it to tell me what to do again because I'm a simpleton. Okay. Okay. Keep it together, Zane. Gotta get out of this thing. The door's completely jammed. I can't get out. You can't swim through that slot? Wait. What's that over there? Oh, that's my laser cutter. I brought that down with me to cut through the shipwreck's walls and debris. Must have fallen out of my pocket in the crash. We're inching along. Shit. Wonderful. I just need to keep pushing this thing until I can grab the laser cutter. Then, once I'm free, I can go explore the... Think of it. It's not here. The insurmountable. It's not here at all. Dominic was wrong. I knew it. What the? Can I please push this? Please let me push it. Hurry, to scare the blind shark, rattle the cage by going close to the side where the shark is and spam E. Okay. I'm now further than I have ever been. How am I going to get back up to the surface, dude? Can I find the chain, rehook it, and like. Keep at it, Zane. Just keep at it. Well, hang on now. Oh, I hate that. That's so much. He's just standing there. <gasps> ah! Okay, not scared. Okay, Woo this was a great idea to play. My phone's almost half dead. What am I gonna do without a goddamn light?
Bro! Quit doing that. Quit it. Quit. I just want the goddamn laser cutter. Man. I can't believe this shit. Why are they blind? Oh, I'm almost there now. The halfway there. My ass, you're halfway there. What is that sound? I hit that one. Oh, shit. One more. And I'll go get some air. Oh, shit. Okay, this is getting so nerve wracking. Boo. Oh my goodness, I'm almost there. Oh, how long is my phone supposed to last? This guy sounds like the... Have you ever played the VR game Gorn? Sounds like that. This might be a longer video. It's like right there, I can see it. I gotta reach my fat arm out there though. Damn it. Oh god, if I die now, I'm not gonna wanna start over. Spot in the cage. I see you over there, bro. Oh no, wait. Where's the weak spot in the cage? Will you stop? If anyone should be weak, it should be right freaking here. Oh! Oh! Whoops. 
Not about to risk it now, man. You gotta be shitting me. Oh, is it the one that I gotta watch for over there? Like Foxy and FNAF? Please don't make me push that thing. Skip the goddamn tutorial. I cannot stand this thing. This this game is hard. Let me preface that. This game is very hard. And it takes forever to do anything. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here we go. First, there's one thing I can't afford to forget. <gasps> okay, now I'm ready. Are you? Right, what am I doing? Adrenaline, don't fail me now. Space to swim up. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Okay. It's fine. I'm not because I got a checkpoint, I think I can do this. Whoa. As to look back, I see. Damn it. Why? Damn it! Okay, I, I saw the surface. I saw the surface. God damn it, I saw the surface. I'm just gonna book it to the top, book it to the top, book it, book it, book it. No way! Oh, I hate this. This is worse. Dominic, where are you? Oh my God! No way! Turn the goddamn boat around, Dominic! I hate this. I hate this. Oh God! Now what do I have to do? Ooh. Ooh. What do you mean, dodge right? Oh, this is the worst part. Fuck! Ah! How am I supposed to know when to dodge? Woo! What was that sound? Q, God damn it! It's a sound thing. This is not how sharks attack. They breach straight from the bottom. Help me! Help me! Get me out of here. We're not safe. You ascended too quickly, I bet. Dominic, answer me. Jesus.
Dominic, your coordinates are way off the mark. The insurmountable wasn't down there at all. That piece of shit. Your coordinates are way off the mark. The insurmountable wasn't Oh, you down could there see him. I am aware that the insurmountable wasn't down there. And I do know its real location. I'll be heading out there alone right after I finish my business with you here, Zane. Dominic? What the hell? You know... Perhaps it's actually better that things turn out this way. It gives me a chance to tell you what I really think of you. <laughs> so let me tell you an ancient history story. You've always loved ancient history, haven't you, Zane? Long, long ago, swinging her around. Of South Burlington, Vermont, once lived an hmm. awful young brat. A brat who played two. Many video games starring Nathan Drake and Laura Croft, and would happily waste entire weekends re watching old Indiana Jones movies. Anytime someone asked the brat, What do you want to be when you grow up? he'd always answer, I'm going to become the world's greatest treasure hunter. Time went on, and the awful young brat grew up into an awful old brat, still clinging to his same childish dreams. For a few years, he grudgingly suffered the indignity of working an unexciting office job with his brother. But as soon as he'd saved up enough money, the old rat begged and pleaded with his younger brother to please, please, please join him on his first treasure hunting expedition. The old rat wanted himself a sidekick, you see. No true adventurer is ever complete without one. Eventually, after enduring enough whining, the brat's younger brother cracked him and quit his job, and off the brothers went, hunting treasure after treasure all around the world. Admittedly, there were times that honestly turned out to be fun, and even profitable. But in Iceland, the younger brother lost three of his toes to frostbite. In Luxembourg, a thief shot the younger brother in his left kidney, which had to be surgically removed. In Bolivia, my face got bitten by a rattlesnake. In Greece, I tumbled down a mountain and got my skull fractured. In the jungles of Rwanda, an insect bit me, and I caught some weird new disease, which ultimately developed into cancer. You have cancer? Now here we both are, near the bottom of the world, searching for the spot where 101 men got eaten by sharks back in 1719, and I hate you more than I hate Satan himself, Zane! It's Dominic. If you don't like adventuring anymore, can just go our separate ways. You don't need to do this. Yes, I do. The very thought of a brat like you going on to make millions hunting treasure while I've been reduced to a miserable cancer victim just makes my blood boil. You need to die, and there's no better time and place than while we're all alone on an idiotic adventure in shark-infested waters like these. It's the perfect fratricide, and once the deed's done, I'll find the insurmountable's treasure on my own. I'll pay to have my cancer cured, and I'll live out the rest of my days in a nice, cozy mansion in Florida. And you, Zane, whatever pieces are left of you after the sharks have ripped you apart, will spend the rest of eternity in solitude underwater. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to be doing stuff up there. Oh, shit. What the hell is this supposed to be, bro? The most important thing seems to be dodging.
That's right. Did I win? Zane, please. I should have waited. I should have waited. I'm glad the storm stopped. Hey, darling. How's Satan treating you so far? <sighs> Are there sharks down in hell, too? Are they feasting on your hate filled soul for all eternity? No, that's wrong. I do know what to do with myself. I've always known what to do with myself since I was a little boy. I am going to become the world's greatest treasure hunter. Whether my brother is with me or not. Hell of a story. That was actually way better than I expected it to be. And, like, I love underwater games. Like, Subnautica is one of my favorite games. This was good. This was really good, and I always love a good story. Wow. Good job. Be sure to check in for the next one, guys, because I definitely want to see you there.